Hello everyone, this is Mark from Servermania and welcome to the tutorial. In this tutorial we're going to walk you through how to set up a basic web server on Linux. In this tutorial I'll be using Debian Linux on a Servermania hybrid server. A hybrid server would be a good option if you're setting this up just as a personal uh, uh, small web server if you're looking to just uh, share files. could also work for a basic uh, company website if you don't need any advanced um, server management uh, such as email or any need for a control panel then this option would work well. It's just a lightweight uh, LAMP stack but it's mostly designed just for personal use um, just because it doesn't have that graphical interface for managing it. Um, it's easy enough just for setting up static pages or uh, smaller database driven sites like WordPress uh, where you'll just set it up once and then you can just uh, manage it from there. So we'll begin the tutorial just by logging into our server via SSH. Uh, in this case I'm uh, using a Mac so I can use the terminal to connect. If you're using Windows then you'll connect with uh, PuTTY or any other SSH client that you'd like. I've already run an app get update so we'll just begin by installing a few utilities that we'll need for the tutorial. Uh, such as git, screen, and uh, wget. Now that these utilities are installed, we'll just download uh, the script from GitHub. So we've chosen a popular LAMP installation tool, uh, which we feel is the easiest way to uh, accomplish this goal. So now that that's downloaded, we'll just uh, change into that directory. Um, we'll just need to give the uh, installation script executional permissions. We're going to open up a screen to run this install. And then finally we're going to execute uh, the file. Um, in this case uh, you'll go through step by step and uh, select the options as they meet your needs. So if you're looking to uh, set up WordPress or a specific application, you'll want to check and see what exactly you'll need. We'll just use some of the basic settings. Um, we'll do mod security here. We'll select um, the latest MySQL. I do recommend uh, setting a MySQL root password. We'll select the latest PHP. We will uh, load the ion cube loaders. Uh, we'll select uh, PHP MyAdmin. This is a, a control panel that can be used for managing uh, MySQL databases. So it just gives you a basic graphical interface for doing that. So we will load that in this case and then we'll not install this option here. And finally, we'll complete the installation just by hitting enter. At this point, the installation will run through the process. Usually takes about 10 to 15 minutes depending on uh, the server that you're running. So we'll let this run and we'll come back once it's done. Now that the installation is complete, we can simply run the lamp add command. And this will walk you through uh, the process for adding a new site to the lamp stack. So we'll start uh, by entering the domain name such as domain.com. We'll select the root directory. We can just hit enter to use the default. Admin email address. It'll ask if you want to create a database. In this case, we'll just say no. We won't add an SSL. And it's done. So now if you want to add any files to this website, you can uh, just go to this directory here. That's the data directory. And input any um, files that you'd like to host on the site. And then you just need to follow the steps in our tutorial uh, at the end for um, connecting a domain to the server. So in this case, uh, we haven't installed any name servers on this server, so you can certainly uh, install the name servers or you can um, just use an external uh, name server uh, provider, which is usually provided with most domain registrars. And in that case, you would just uh, set up the name servers to be the domain registrar's name servers and you'd create an A record for the uh, primary IP of the server. And from there your web server is online and the domain would be connected at that time. If you have any questions or face any issues with this tutorial feel free to leave a comment in the section below 
or you can reach out to our team if you have a server with us and we can certainly do everything we can to help. Thanks for watching.